Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. I'm Tim. Okay, we were not expecting to do a video today. Um, in fact, this, I, you've never seen dishes in my sink. I'm not showing you now. This dishes in my sink, and that doesn't happen during videos. So, um, but we just did grocery shopping, and actually, we got some things that we couldn't get for a while. And it just seemed like a good time to just dump all this out yeah. and go through it, right? So, I think that's what we're gonna do. So, keep in mind, while we eat Stark Solution, Lex does not. Um, and isn't really worried about fat and all that. And this is a grocery haul for the whole family. So yeah. we're, just, we're just happy that he wants to be vegan. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to be a vegan hot dog. You know what I mean? It's going to be different. Right. So you'll see that sort of stuff. All right. Let's start with um, the Costco. So we've got it broken up. This slide's Costco. We're going to show you some of the things we did. We got first, um, <laughs> Costco has grapes right now that are organic. So we got some organic grapes here. And I, I love having grapes with lunch. I have fruit with every lunch. I wash these. They're ready to go for the week. They're good. Uh, Pretty common for us to get this there. Yeah. And then we also got a whole bag of green apples. We always get those there because they're organic. If Costco has it and we need it and it's organic, we're buying it there, right? It's uh, usually pretty fresh. The deliveries they get, is, yeah. I think, a little bit more frequent than, than grocery stores. Okay, what do you got You there? keep touching this. Oh, so wow, this was see. against Joey's will for, um, for buying. But this is a roasted raspberry chipotle sauce. I'm going to try to make a dressing out of it with balsamic vinegar. Um, there is no oil in it. Yeah, uh, there's pectin, but that's yeah. a plant uh, fiber, not. Yeah, so it is junk. vegan and uh, it is uh, uh, it is oil free. Yeah. So it's an oil free <laughs> barbecue sauce, but chipotle. It's, it's probably a larger jar than I need to experiment with for dressings, but but the, nonetheless, that's why we have it. The problem is, let's say that's seven dollars, right? You go to Sprouts to get the smaller version, and that's eight dollars. So <laughs> or six, like, or it just yeah. doesn't make any yeah. sense to do yeah. that, right? Yeah. Uh, you can see here we got a pineapple. We always get uh, pineapples at Costco. They're really they're they're a good price there for the organic ones, right? Yeah, and I can see it's green. It's gonna be it's gonna be ripened, so we'll probably have this midweek. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll jump into the bananas. So Costco, I try to get a green pet uh, set and a set of yellow that's ready to go. So this is probably what I'm gonna freeze. That's that non-soluble fiber. And so when I have a bag in the freezer, one says green bananas, one's uh, yellow. So that's why I like to buy green. Uh, just an idea if you were thinking about that or a good reminder, maybe. All right. So what else you got? Okay, uh, it's nice to have a few different English cucumbers. Um, I'm just gonna try to make a Thai cucumber salad this week. Um, that comes in. <laughs> I guess this. I, I'm gonna still win Joey over uh, with cucumbers, right? Um, this is always an amazing buy to have these uh, carrots ready to go. It's just one less thing I have to prep. Cut some celery sticks. My, um, we, yeah. we got something to go for lunch. Here's what I like about these. They're two separate bags. So okay. I can yeah. cut it right down the middle, have two separate bags. Put one in the refrigerator over here, one in the garage refrigerator. They're already peeled, right? So on a weeknight, they're like, chop, 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 they're ready to eat. I ain't gonna peel anything. I hate peeling carrots. Okay. Um, we usually try to keep one bottle in reserve for for cashews because um, we use that. Finding the organic can be a little tricky, so when we do, we grab these. We probably have two of these in the uh, pantry, but when they have these, we get them. The, you got to be careful. They sell two of these. One of these is organic. Whole cashews, unroasted, unsalted, and the only ingredient is cashews. Yeah. And the other one looks just like this, but it's like a brown label, but it looks just like this. And it says the same, says same thing, whole cashews, and there's oil in it. Yeah. And it's a dollar off this week, yeah. so goodbye. Yeah. All right, so this next item, Joey, this has probably been on our, on our Costco list for about eight, six, eight months. It's been on it for a long okay. time. And that's organic coconut aminos. So we ended up getting two bottles of these. So Costco has these seasonally, right? And there's these huge bottles of coconut aminos, right? And like, they're probably pretty much the same price as having, Small. you know what I mean? Like you go to, Fro uh, to Sprouts, you're gonna get pay a little less, but you're gonna get half a bottle, right? And we're getting two for the same price. So this is a seasonal item. They, we, we haven't, we've needed this, it's been on our list for months, right? And now it's there. So we grabbed it, we grabbed two of these. This will last us a long time. I may get another one next time we're there. But uh, Coco Minos, Costco has a great price and you get a two pack. Well, actually it wasn't a two pack. We bought two of them because we don't know when they're gonna get them again. All right, so we've got our, our squashes, zucchini here. We, oh, hang on, we always get squash every week at Costco. This is like five bucks for all these squash, right? Um, so, and they're, I mean, they're ready to go. So this uh, Costco in the refrigerator section, great place to squash. All right, what else we got? All right, so we've got our spinach to mix in. I think we're gonna do a, 
a Faro or something this week. So. Yeah, we are going to do a Faro this week. That'd so, uh, yeah, so spinach, we always get that at Costco. It's cheap. All right. And then I've got some baking soda we get. Uh, and then I think we've got one jar of um, uh, vinegar left. So how many so. is in here? So that's two big bottles of yeah. vinegar, right? Two gallons, yeah. right? So we are using this to clean vegetables with. Yeah. Using it to clean laundry. Vinegar is a, a household yeah, chemical. Just like, you use it for everything. So. And, and Costco has the best price on it. Tim uses it for laundry. So it's two boxes. I, I don't know how much it is, but it's a really good deal. So that's everything from Costco that we got today. Yeah. Um, it actually isn't that big of a haul. Where are the bamboo sheets we're trying out? Just... <laughs> we, got, okay. we got new this sheets. A sheet set for 99 bucks. that's bamboo. Listen, they said that you can try it out. If you don't like it, you can return it. So I'm already, they, they're like, sleep on it for two weeks, then return it. I don't know that I would do that for two weeks. But, but anyway, okay. there's no reason to show bamboo sheets. All right, so now we'll move on to sprouts. Sprouts is the bulk of what we get every week because that's our produce, all right? Um, I don't drink orange juice, but Lex does, so he gets orange juice and no pulp because he can't stand pulp. All right, so tell us what, you always buy these good belly probiotic shots. Tell me what this is. You know, so I, we keep reading how good probiotics are for you, different strains and all that. So I take a probiotic in a pill form, but I thought, why don't I get something that's fresh as well? So I see this good belly. There's seminars that people talk about good belly, Carrying a bunch of different things in smoothies and all that. Anyway, it's 20 billion. And haven't you read about gut microbiome that should be over 10, 2 billion at least? So yeah. when we're at 20 billion, it's good. I, I mean, I personally think all that stuff's a scam, including this. <laughs> Stop. Oh my Seriously. God. <laughs> because all the stuff comes from food, but if you have a good diet, you don't need that. But uh, Tim's always trying to do self improvement. Well, you and, read about right. soluble, non soluble fiber, right? Well, and this just kind of helps move it along. So anyway, can't be bad. It's not going to hurt you, right? So okay. let's see. Do all we can. Do all we can. Okay. Uh, we got some already peeled garlic. Now, th this is, oh man, that, you can smell it right through the bag, right? Yeah, I know. So this is about the same price as a huge bag at Costco, but we just, we often don't even use all that's in here from yeah. before, before the expiration date. And I hate throwing away that huge yeah. bag. I need to look in to see if we have to, if we can freeze this or not. Yeah. Because if we can, then we're getting that from Costco. Let us know in the comments below if you freeze your garlic. If you do, then I don't mind buying the bake because it's the same price, right? Okay. What are these? Even though Joey bagged the groceries, it doesn't know what got by him. So we found a couple different uh, vegan things in the freezer. Now these have oil in it, but this is for Lex and all of us to try, um, just so I know what it's about. Are these vegan? TMRW. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gosh. So I'm not sure. There's a label. Okay, well, sometimes you don't read. Yeah, it does say vegan. But it's not oil free. So. Okay. So these are kind but, of little protein, uh, protein snacks, yeah. right? This might be good for Lex when so this, he's home before. So this one's us. a pizza, and this one's kind of a round, like cakey pizza thing, right? Yeah, it looks like a tiny. I mean, they cake. look pretty good. Uh, nine grams of fat. I ain't won't be it. Good for Lex. I All mean, right, moving I, on. If I was a swimmer, I'd be in those things. Moving too, on. So. Yes, exactly. All right. Um, we haven't made tofu scramble in a while. Lex has been asking for it, so I, we just got some tofu for to make tofu scramble, right? So we'll be doing that. What did you get there? Okay, like, we got some steamed, oh, steamed beets, which it smells, still smells like garlic. It's either okay. you or the garlic, but steamed steam beets. beets, all right. Now, we got just egg. I don't really have a need for egg substitute, right? So Le Lex likes this with the just with the impossible sandwich patty. Um, but there is a, a recipe where you can make the just egg out, mung bean. out of mung bean because that's what it's made of, and you can make it whole food plant based. If I was gonna eat that stuff, that's what I do. But I don't have any need for so, an egg substitute. Honestly, I think the Tucson trip inspired that a little bit. Um, just. In case we need to quick do a scramble with some bell pepper or something. Anyway, well, it's in the fridge. It's got a shelf life. We're good. I can't it's imagine just a, need to quick do a scramble. It's just a backup. Yeah. All right. Another thing Lex likes are these uh, these Light Life Smart Jumbo Dogs. These are actually pretty good because they're only one of them is three grams of fat or three point five. For these one are minute. extra thick hot dogs. He, but my he, idea is that so the way I make these is I boil them in water in the microwave, then put them on a pan and fry it up with no oil, just a nonstick pan, right? Yeah. And then um, put in a hot dog bun, a pretzel bun, and Lex is really happy. He doesn't Lex doesn't like mayonnaise, he doesn't like ketchup. Just, he just likes things just, plain. Just the pretzel, the pretzel bun right. and this dog. Yeah, I mean, it's got two different types of oil in it. We're not eating it. We're so, not eating but, it. But I mean, when you're a 15 year old that's a swimmer, maybe it's not so bad. Uh, I got some tomatoes. We have a recipe I'm making and I eat a tomato, so we got that. Uh, yeah. This over here, this uh, uh, this is the Eve's uh, Veggie Cuisine Veggie Pepperoni. Lex, Lex likes lunch meat sandwiches that are all vegan. So this is one of the things we get. And it's interesting because 
Uh, this is made of soy protein isolate uh, and, and gluten. Um, and I don't know one of these things. Oh, this one has oil in it. But the one they make, the actual uh, Pam one, one, that one does not have oil yeah. in it. And it's only got like four ingredients. This one has, because this is the pepperoni, it does have oil yeah. in it. So again, it has a shelf life, a couple months. Yeah. We'll use this. It was on sale. Yeah. That's why I grabbed and it. And again, that's for Lex. He, does like, yeah. he doesn't want anything hot for school lunch. He wants cold sandwiches. Yeah. Um, and we've been able to get them off of Subway and onto lunchy sandwiches so they're perfect we got some uh, russet potatoes here and i'm gonna be making uh i forget i got a oh, whole list of food we're doing a bake we have bell peppers from oh that's right from last yes. week yes yes yeah so we're gonna do the potato squash pepper bake right yeah we, we, look, we look in the fridge what is it we can use up and sure enough we had a bunch of bell peppers left over yeah. so we're gonna do the bake that'll yeah. be great yeah go ahead okay moving on we bought some extra Onions. Yeah, we always eat onions. We go through a lot yeah. of onions. Whenever a recipe says a half an onion, we put two whole onions. I mean, who's gonna taste a half an onion? This looks like parsley. I think we got charged for cilantro. They rang up cilantro. The lady didn't know the difference. Okay. Tim's like, all right, did you get cilantro? I'm like, no, it's parsley. I got a recipe I'm doing, so the parsley's right here. Um, and we also have uh, some romaine lettuce. So uh, let me just comment on this, that we usually get the big Costco pack. Yes. And I gotta be honest with you, it looked on the whitish side. So you look at this, this is an impressive green. Yeah. This is what I want um, in a salad or on a sandwich. So that's that's why we went this route yeah. today. And you know, I just realized we were in uh, Tim's car, which we normally don't take because it's electric, but they have electric parking over there. So we have some of this stuff's in bags because all of the all of the reusable bags are all in my car because I'm the one that does the shopping. So grocery shopping. So we're stuck with the reusable bags. So, but um, and then we got a bunch of peanuts because we make a lot of peanut Thai salads, right? Just to crush them. And we just crush them and sprinkle them on top, just yeah. kind of as a topping, right? And then we got uh, two sets of bananas that I'm gonna let turn oh, yellow goodness. so we can eat those. Um, so those aren't gonna get frozen. We'll eat those. Um, I also got these little organic brown rice snaps. They're little brown rice crackers. And they're, that's the only ingredient is organic brown rice or rice, wheat, rice, white. Okay, so two ingredients, organic brown rice flour and organic white rice flour. So it's rice, okay. right? And they're just little like crackers, right? And I love like crackers with something on it. So, you know, you really can't buy crackers without being made of oil, right? Okay. Uh, so these are a perfect little option. There's no oil and... Baked and unsalted. Yeah, baked and unsalted okay. and there's no fat on them. So I think that's really good. Um, Lex likes his sandwiches on pretzel buns. Uh, these are vegan, but they're not oil free, but Lex doesn't care, so he'll be getting those. And we've always got some bread on hand for Lex also. So uh, we even check the label on this. Um, it says good for the planet, so I have to assume, yeah, it is vegan. Um, although it's using oil. So uh, Lex may want like avocado toast or something like that during the week, so he'll have that. Oh, look, mushrooms. Yep. So I like getting a couple grilled portobello mushrooms, right? Just so I can grill them with the George Foreman. We already did a video on that. But anyway, that's what I use it for. Okay. So. All right, and then we're gonna be using us. Uh, I'm gonna make pea salad this week. Uh, we should probably, I have a video for that, but not with starch solution okay. mayo. But I'm gonna make some starch solution mayo. So I've got some shelf stable uh, tofu right here. We'll use this tofu for, co for cold dishes. That other tofu, the refrigerated one, that's if you're heating it and that gets rid of the taste. But we can't use that one, that cold one, for dishes where it's not being cooked. This is just extra smooth, works really well for the tofu yeah. mayo. And what do you got here? Some peaches or what are they? Oh, yeah, so I love white peaches. That these are these donut are? shaped, yeah. Okay. So, so took out a little thing of three peaches. And I've got when I'm ready in the booth for cereal sometimes, this is what I eat. This uh what is it? The uh, Nature's Path Organic uh, Sunshine Vanilla, is it? Sun Sunshine Crunchy Vanilla. It's vegan, it's non-GMO, and there's very few ingredients in it. There's no oil in it. Uh, I mean, there's some sugar in it, but and molasses, but there's only a 1.5 a, a gram and a half of fat for an entire cup of this. So and flax seeds, and, which yeah, is great. I mean, so. yeah, it's got flax seeds. It's got all sorts of good stuff. It's got uh, cornmeal. Uh, it's got amaranth. It's got buckwheat flour. Like, it's a lot of good stuff, right? Um, so this one's really kind of healthy, right? And I absolutely love this one. It's, it's my favorite cereal. And then Tim bought Mom's Best Cereal. This sounds like a No Frills brand. Um, the only ingredient in here is whole grain wheat, uh, whole grain wheat, that's it with vitamin E. 
that's all that's in here. So, yeah. so this to me, I feel like I can add fresh fruits to it. That's my idea. So. Yeah, this is like uh, frosted mini wheats, right? Without the, cereal, the frosting. Without the frosting, yeah. right? It's just the wheats. Now, this brand here makes a bunch of cereals. We've never tried this before, but some of them are not vegan. This one is. You got to check the label. Just because one of your brand yeah. uh, item is vegan yeah. doesn't mean they're all going to be vegan, right? But this one, a good option right good. here, right? Yeah. All right, so that's kind of everything we bought uh, that's food-wise. Yeah, uh, I think we shared with why we bought what we did and... Um, yeah, I got like some pens and stuff like that I need for work, but uh, that's it. So uh, we're actually gonna film a, a, a meal prep video tomorrow, you know how, how I love to do those. Um, so some of this stuff is for that. I don't want to give away those recipes, but okay. um, this should last. We normally sometimes, well, okay, well, sometimes when we do this, we also go to Trader Joe's. Then we also go to Fry's, which might be Kroger by you. Um, so this isn't our biggest haul by any means. Sometimes this whole counter is filled up, right? Oh. Uh, but this is about the normal, like, you know, week to week, right? Yeah, besides this are the nooch we have, the, the dried beans. Um, our cabins are stacked. Yeah. yeah, I mean, our pantry is full. But, so. but this is a good rotation. All right, okay. that's our video for today. A, uh, a grocery haul video, uh, Sprouts and Costco. Uh, please hit that like button, show us some love, and uh, click on that subscribe button. Click on the notification bell, and you'll get notified every time we have a video, which is every what? Tuesday. Tuesday now, that's right. If you're a Patreon member or, or a PayPal supporter, you get the videos 24, uh, 48 hours early. You get them on Sunday morning. And please leave a comment below. Uh, what are you doing for uh, grocery shopping? Are you prepping your meals ahead of time for the week like we are? Um, so do you buy from Costco? Where do you get both of your groceries? This is where ours comes from, Sprouts and Costco. All right, we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us.